Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the of the Ninja Warrior Podcast. Tonight, we are finally covering the Ninja Warrior, the NW Junior, your quarterfinals part one. Yeah, at long last, we are finally here. It took, oh, so long, and I really wish I could say we were done by now. But nope, I can't say that. <laughs> no, we still have a total of six episodes left, um, including this one. So we still have a lot of AWG in the content, uh, a lot of AWG in the couple. But we're gonna start off with this first episode of the quarterfinals. And man, this one was definitely different, but good in a good way. Yeah. Um. But it's, yeah, for sure. I love some of you that have the layout about the quarterfinals. I don't post it like the format exactly, but. I think it's fine for what they're trying to do here. This, the real crap is when we get to the semifinals, which is going to be in a couple of weeks. Yeah, speaking of weeks, I want to let you guys all know about um, the Enjoy podcast that we're going to be doing two episodes this week. Oh, yeah, right. Um, on Monday, we'll be recording another episode because we have an extended weekend for school because um, we have till Tuesday off. Yeah, so we'll, mon- we'll record the next episode on Monday, then I'll edit it on Tuesday, and you guys should see it on Wednesday. So you'll get an episode on Monday, and you get an episode on Wednesday. So that's two in one week, which helps us get through the West of Virginia. Junior. Yeah, if you're wondering also what happened last week, um, David's computer was not working. Yeah, um, what ended up happening was, like, I have no idea. But when I came home, came home from school one day, it was just broken. Like, I think something else happened on the side, but it just started coming up with this easy mode with context, and it completely fried the computer, so we had to restart it, and and um, basically just, like, we we format the, dr- the hard drive, and it was just really freaking complicated. It went down on Wednesday, and I didn't get it back till late Sunday. So, yeah. Needless to say, those were a hard five days to get through my computer because I can't video edit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're good, love. We're good. We, we just have it, and we're ready to record and watch the episode of Amy Jr. So anyway, we, um, let's get into this with the 9 and 10 year olds. Oh, it starts to the quarterfinals. Yeah, so the way this works is that they bring in two wild cards. Uh, it's, um, I believe one from each episode of the show. So this is the first four episodes. Um, oh, one kid from each episode. That's generally how this works. Yeah, so one wild card from each episode. And, of course, one um, actual ninja from each episode we had a movie on, legitimately. Yeah, so let's start off this matchup. We have um, Levi Meeks and Max Leeway going head-to-head. This one was definitely Max Leeway's game. Oh, hell yeah. Max Leeway, like, he, we didn't really give him much credit last time when I remember, but he is just a boss, and he plays like as Levi. Yeah, um, then we had the second matchup between Brandon Avila and Michael Scott, which was definitely surprising. Oh, yeah, because, like, Michael Scott actually busted ahead against, um, Brandon Avila, which just shocked me, because I remember Michael Scott being just, like, a joke of a competitor. Yeah, he almost won. Um, on the final saw, so he ended up, uh, um, Brandon ended up linking the final two laches while um, Michael Scott didn't. So he ended up behind and had to watch his second swing, which made him miss. And unfortunately, he fell there. Yeah, admittedly enough, like, I wasn't expecting Michael to win, but for like two, but like for like most of the ways, it really felt like he might actually beat a viewer. I mean, I knew that didn't happen because of, because of the, because of, you know, we all just seen the finale, but I'm just saying, like, I felt like he would win. Yeah, and considering how wild cards work, um, he could have still won anyway. Exactly. And plus, it was, like, a, a second chance to knock on, so it really would not have up there anyway, so. I, I just think it's definitely cool that Michael Scott tried to actually stand up against him, and no one was really able to do that, even Max Leeboy. Like, uh, he, like, only just barely was able to. Yeah, but we're giving way too much away. Way as I would like to keep it a secret till we actually cover the finale. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'm going to move on. We have the knockout round. We're speaking the matchup between Michael Scott and Max Leeway. This being a rematch from the first episode. 
Yep, so this was a really freaking easy win for Max Lee, but he plays past Michael. Uh, what I want to know is on Lutic Ledges, both of them looked like they wanted to make a one-swing um, move on that first... No, wanted to make a one-swing, and you know, neither of them did. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just felt like a slight hesitation, but I, I think both of them could have hit with the amount of off that push. Um, but anyway, then the second matchup was really no better as Brayden the viewer crushed Levi Meeks. Yeah, um, generally, it was just, like, a pretty easy win, which, um, gave us to the final matchup, which you win Avila and Michael S and, um, uh, Max Salima, why did I Scott? I don't know, man, I mean, we already made fun of him, and I'm just saying, like, he's bad. Yeah, exactly, like, like, we forgot to mention any of the cooking segment earlier, too! Crap. <laughs> it was just so stupid that I completely forgot about it. The same. They had a really stupid cooking segment with them. I really didn't care. And I guess it's a good thing you screwed up then, because now we get to know that he had a cooking segment. <laughs> yeah, that had nothing to do with Ninja. It's like, I believe we've said this before, but I'll say it again. Um, when they talk about people in the qualifiers, if they bring them up in the quarterfinals, they was like, um, what else did we not talk about? Um, cooking? Oh yeah, what's the cooking? Perfect, done. We used to be through the roof with this! <laughs> Tune in next week to see Michael Scott cooking. What is being complete jerks and assholes? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the definition of being on a podcast, but... <laughs> Assholes who make podcasts, so you, know, you can't avoid it sometimes. No, but like back on track, um, Max Levy and Brandon Viewer. This was definitely a very close race, as um, Brandon Viewer took the lead on Liquid Pipes going faster on them. But I love how the show doesn't even bother mentioning Max Levy's very early dismount off that obstacle that you can barely even see on the camera. Yeah, from what I saw, he jumped halfway across, from halfway on the second. Pipe like that's earlier than anyone else ever made it. Yeah, so they just ignore that that happened, which is really just like why it happened. It was cool. Um, but anyway, Max even tried catching up on the flying salsa. He actually did, but then he tripped. <laughs> yeah, he fell flat on his face on the warp wall, baby, his knee. Um, giving Wayne the viewer to win. Yeah, so Wayne the viewer moved on to the quarterfinals, but uh, I feel uh, on to the semifinals, but I know. But I bet you everyone knows that Max Lee might end up getting a wild card here. Yep, and I'll be way to talk about that when the time comes. Is I have a lot to say about the wild card system, but it comes down to the semis. Oh, yeah, for sure. The, I have a thing to say. I think we've already laid out some of those thoughts in one of the other episodes, but it just we'll just talk about it fully there. Yeah, for sure. But I'm anyway, moving on. We have these 11 and 12 year old age group starting on a matchup between Jake Sconti and Diane Yee. Yep, um, this was a real easy one for Jake Sconti. Obviously, six pack ninja, he boys like past um, Danyan. And, um, yeah, I ended up getting the win. Uh, but the second matchup was the complete opposite. Oh, yeah, we had Chili Ball with Olivia Lopez. And this was definitely a waste of well. Olivia deserved to win, for sure. Yeah, so, um, um the way this will end up working out is, is um, Olivia ended up making an, um, um, it's, um, a dismount on the Lunatic Ledges before Charlie Ball, so she got the lead then. Then he caught up on the, um, on Spike Crossing, only for her to gain the lead on Spin Ball, on a Spring Forward. Well, doing, um, linking the shades, ace, and then she ended up slowing down the warp wall, and Charlie was just barely able to burst out ahead because of that. And he moved on. Yeah, man. Olivia, I really wanted her to, like, actually get going. Because, like, Olivia, like, I just wanted her to win. Like, in that way, should have been her big breakthrough. Yeah, but think about it. She was, went up against Bella Palmer and almost won as well. So, really... This was her time, and the fact that she ended up just barely missing it is definitely disappointing. Um, but anyway, we of course have the knockout round. So, after that, we had... Jake Sconti and Olivia Lopez! Yep, this was very easy for Jake to win. Oh yeah, I love it. that was way too easy for him to win. I see boys like Path Olivia. Um, but second matchup 
wasn't much better. Yeah, it was really easy between it was really easy for Charlie Ball to beat Dick. Was Diane Yi, and honestly, I'm glad I don't have to say that name again because it's just difficult. <laughs> yeah, um, we didn't talk about this obviously, but I, I believe I think we did like four or five takes of me just trying to say his name correctly. <laughs> well, I thought I was like Diane Yi, e. <laughs> Diane Yi. E. Yeah, it, it makes it sound like one word with a Y, but uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, at last to the final match between Jake Sconti and Charlie Ball, which was a pretty big disappointment as Jake Sconti fell on the lunatic ledges. Yeah, poor very unfortunate. I really want to see him go far. Um, I believe he got a wild card in the semis, but not much came of it, so yeah, the, take that as you will. But um, anyway, yeah, Charlie Ball destroyed the course. Um, one thing I want to point out is that once he got to the buzzard, they talked about um, Charlie having a six pack as well, and he just said, like, sorry, Jake. <laughs> it's just, it's great. Yeah, um, but anyway, now, we can move on to the women of the day, the 13 and 14 year olds age group, which start off with a matchup between Phil Folson and Jordan Carr. Yep, so this was a really interesting matchup. So have Jordan Carr, who was a, a trailblazer in the whole episode, but ended up losing to Taylor Green. And Phil Folson, who was also a trailblazer in his episode, and is ne and um, you know, hasn't lost a waist yet. So I was definitely hoping Jordan Carr would win, which didn't end up happening. Yeah, but I will give her this. She definitely gave Phil Folson a win for his money. If you want to say it like that, um, she ended up um trying her hardest to keep up with him, but she ended up get getting really sloppy by um fall by um almost falling on the lunatic ledges, which is um is um and almost um, almost falling on the broken bridge, and and that was the one as you know football some boys to spin ball wizard and one. Yeah, it was definitely a little disappointing thing, but, you know, I, I think Jordan Carr definitely had passion and really wanted to beat him, but it just didn't end up happening. Yeah, definitely. Um, then we had Sakoa Heinrichs and Joseph Wows. Um, was, with this, it was definitely different. Yeah, um, this was mostly a victory for Joseph Wows that Sakoa ended up falling as from Bell Wizard. Yeah, um, I like how they, um, they talked about this, and... Um, in the actual segment, they talked about, um, Sakura falling before they tell you who won. But, Joseph Wiles had probably already hit the buzzer by the time she had got, she had fallen. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, it's more likely. You can't tell her because the camera angles they show, but it's more, definitely likely. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, we have the knockout round with the team for team. So, start off with the matchup between... Bill Folson, Sakura Heinrichs. Which was pretty easy for Phil. Yep, this was an old fast forward, and Phil just crushed it. Definition of crushed it. Um, um and then we had the second matchup between Joseph Wouse and Jordan Carr, with, and this one was just sad. Yeah, all the way. Um, Jordan Carr, last time, you know, she was pretty sloppy overall, but still, it gave him genuine effort to try to be beat Phil. This time around, you could tell she really wanted to, but again, it ended up being really sloppy, and she, um, um, she, um, failed a one swing dismount on the Ledges, first thing to go for a two swinger, and she even kicked the thing, so she definitely could have. Um, then she fell in the, um, broken bridge, like, straight up. Yeah, it was definitely really disappointing as Joseph Wiles got free pass to the finals because of that. And he ended up falling on Spinball Wizard anyway, but I do feel like he was running with all of us after Jordan fell. Yeah, he yeah, he probably just like just like, I'll keep on going, but it's not like I'm gonna try to go fast or anything, and that what is what ended up happening. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna move on to the final matchup between him and Phil Folson, with Phil completely crushing it. Yep, um, this was mostly him taking a lead on, um, Sideways, I believe, and, oh wait, no, let I just... Yeah, I was, I was waiting for you to collect this, because you always do. Thank you. Uh, anyway, he ended up, um, coming a lead on Lunatic I just making an OE dismount, oh, and, um, he just kept it from there, um, winning the race and earning his spot in the semifinals. Yeah, um, I don't remember when we saw Jordan, um, jo Joseph Wouse again, but... Fall ended up moving on, and that concludes this episode. And that and that concludes this episode of AW Junior. Yep, 
that's it. And definitely speaking, this episode was fun. Yeah, had a lot, I had a couple of close races. Um, I will admit that Team 14 was definitely a little bit disappointing considering the kind of field we had going into this, but definitely still a really good episode nonetheless. And um, I think we will really see you guys next time. Yeah, once again, like we said, we will be recording I mean, on Monday hey, for the next episode and uploading that on Wednesday because of you know, the episode extended vacation, so that, that's hype right there. Yeah, we're getting two episodes out. Um, but um, that's really about it. We'll see you guys next time for that. Uh, we're doing part two of the core finals. Yep, so yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.